We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect. Hill here with Commander Sendarius Shepard on the CIC of the Normandy SR-1. All right, there is one squad member that we have not talked to in quite some time. We might as well get that chat out of the way. I think there's some experience points that we may be able to get from Joker. Aw, oh, damn it, no sign of pursuit? I was hoping the Council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. So you need something? Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. Mm. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. Okay, I think we have exhausted uh, everything. We'll go ahead and get a status report. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. Okay, we're done here. Thank you. I have to go. All right, All right 141 experience. Just what I was looking for. All right, that should exhaust all of the conversation with the crew. So we are done with that. And folks, it is that time. We're heading to Ilos. All right, we are leaving the Gorgon system in Argos Row. to Ilos. I'm just, I'm just double checking because all these things popped up here. I think we've been everywhere. Okay. Because there's no turning back now once I go. <laughs> there is no turning back. All right. Bring the Tantalus Drive online. And this may be for the final time, people. All right. We are at the Pangea Expanse, headed to the Refuge System. Alright, so we are headed toward the planet Agitotan. Alright, there's nothing there. Planet Zaf. Nothing there. Just making sure there's nothing else, nothing hidden around the sun. All right, here we go. Ilos. All right, in the golden age of the Protheans, 
Ilos was a verdant world dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard G's. All right, here we go. Now, it seems like something's missing. I don't know, did they re-edit this game? There supposedly was a sex scene in Mass Effect. I don't, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, let's land. Shepard, may I speak with you? Oh, you most certainly can. I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. And you know he's only going to speak to her paragonically. We're not going to fail. I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. <laughs> Let's go again. Okay, but no, we're gonna be paragonic. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Thank you, Liara. Got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. 
There is no other landing zone. Okay, you two, the calm down. angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. All right, now this is a tough decision because not only is this the crew that I'm going to take with me to Ilos, but it is the crew that I am going to finish the game with. Oh my goodness. You really have to take Liara on this mission because of the discoveries that are made here. And... I kind of want to take Tally because she's our Geth expert. But by the same token, I would love to take, like, Rex or Garrus. Man, what a decision. All right, we're going with Tally. I mean, and I, I also, Caden would be good here, too. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, what to do, what to do. What to do? What to do? <laughs> oh, boy. Um, you know what? I'm going with Caden. Planetfall successful. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. All right, so I'm here with a biotic battalion. Come on, people. Guns ready. Let's make sure... Uh-oh, I see movement already. Okay, you guys got your pistols. I think we're ready. Everyone, barriers up. Alright, well... Everyone's blocked. I'll just use throw. And they're down. Okay, we've got more enemies coming in. Gonna deal with these biotically. Lift Liara. Wow, it was destroyed before it even left the ground. All right, that Geth trooper there. We're gonna do double overload. Hmm, he survived that though. Oh, he's not down. Okay. Oh! Shock Trooper, what have we got left? I say a little sabotage. And warp. Okay, he's down. We got another one over here. All right. Uh-oh. Look out. Armatures. Let's start off with double overload on that one in the back. Oh.
kicks, Liara. Lift. I knew it. I knew she was powerful enough to lift a Geff armature. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Clear. Where's... No. Caden. There's still an enemy here. All clear. No. What? Okay, did it just... Is Caden getting up? Okay, Caden's fine. All right, let's use a little meta gel. There we go. Uh-oh, hard decryption. Alright, just look, give give me the Omni Gel. Alright, well, looks like we can gel all this, and unfortunately this would probably be an excellent set of armor, but we have nobody that wears heavy human armor, so it's gonna be gelled. Okay. Let's go, people. Okay, we don't need this shotgun, and we don't need this heavy human armor, but this light armor, the Titan 10, will take that. Wait, something's here. out. There you go. I think we're done here. I think you're right. Um I'm not sure which way we need to go first. Down this way? Or back where we threw the gaff? Do a save. All right, we've got a bunch of enemies up here. Thank you. All right, Geth Trooper. Can I get a overload on you? Yara, let's use lift. Uh oh, they're out here too. Use your barriers if you need them. Nothing like the power of here. singularity. We got these things over here too? Okay. Alright, looks like there's a door here. Uh 
Uh oh, more gas. up got it okay I think we can gel all of this I believe that's all that's up here no other crates or anything so let's head back down still geth out here. Alright, I think up this way then? I don't know. Can anybody hit him from here? Got them. Oh, okay. This was um, an alternate way up. Okay, there's a way down there. Is there anything up here we need to see? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go ahead into this elevator. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. All right, Liara. Uh-oh. All right, well, folks, we're going to end the recording here because I have a feeling there is an all-out battle waiting for us just ahead. All right, we will continue with more of our adventure on Ilos in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out. <laughs>